good there. Bubba Bertha here. Now, I've got a very important interview coming up on Moving On TV. But uh, I'm only, the granddaughter is going to explain it. But you know, that, that that's one, that little lovely little boy that comes on and introduces daddy. Right. Well, I, he's not him. It's me, Baba Bert, instead. You got me out of the shower. I've even got me shower head and me teeth are falling out. Goodness me. You got me out of the shower. So anyway, here is the interview with the most I, I, I celebrity of the Ascension. This is what she told me to do. I don't know what she's talking about. Ascension and awakening and all this stuff she talks about. Anyway, there's me shower head and me shower cap. So I just got out of the shower to tell you, I'm not as pretty as little Justin, but here is the man himself. So please enjoy the interview. I, I can't read it. It's going too fast. Ooh, what's that flying at me? Goodbye. Hey guys, welcome to Moving On TV. I'm up bright and early today. It's the unusual for Lauren. <laughs> I'm up, it's 9 a.m. in the morning and I have got such an amazing guest. I'm so excited. Ooh, I'm so excited. The celebrity, the man himself from the Alliance, uh, from the Alliance, from the Awakening, from the um, Ascension. I interviewed him nine months ago and he's back, Charlie Wood. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I got up early and uh, I'm going on this program and he's coming on my program as well. So you'll be able to watch him on Moving On TV. And I think he has a website as well, Dr. Charlie Wood. And we're gonna talk about all the good stuff and we're going to clear everything up for you so you understand everything that's going on. Millions of you are tuning into Charlie now. And so you will know about Moving On TV, the new mainstream media. This is your channel your TV station that gives you hope. We are moving on TV, okay? We want you on here. We want you on the live stream with your talents and your good news and everything, not just your good news, but news flashes that we can send the truth out and stand up for your rights. I am so excited. I need to stay balanced. So welcome to Moving On TV and welcome to the positive news with Charlie Ward all the way from Madrid. Okay. Okay. So, hi, Charlie. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you, Lauren. And you? I'm good. I'm good. So, you're in Spain at the moment. You were saying near Costa Blanca. Costa, no, Costa del Sol, uh, oh, near, near Malaga. Del... Yeah. Near Malaga, okay, yeah. okay. And that... Wow, there we go. Oh, I'm so... How are you? I'm really, really good, actually. How are you, Charlie? Yeah, it's great to see you, because you and I started this journey together, didn't we? We did, we did. At the beginning of the lockdown, oh my God, it's been such a roller coaster. Hasn't it just? Oh it my fun? God. <laughs> um, I'm only coming out of it now um, because so much changed in my life. Um, I broke up a 27 year old marriage. Uh, wow. Living on my own with two cats. Um, really getting you got to get used to being on my own, completely on my own. And it's been a godsend. Moving on TV has been a godsend because. I've, every, I've just been doing loads on here, like entertainment, comedy. Uh, I'm doing a show called I've Got Life. And Excellent. And people on, um, becoming a bit like a, a patron saint of talent that isn't being expressed. Excellent. One who's got a dream. And yesterday I had a lady on who's doing laughter. Yeah. After, it was so funny. And doing interviews when I can. I'm growing slowly, slowly, very, very slowly. Um, but, you know, it's it's just um, 
really good to be able to do it and uh, to show people how you can carry on regardless because I'm finding a huge amount of silver linings now in everything that's going on. So, so grateful to be here. It's wonderful to see you again. And, you know, um, how's the weather, by the way, in, my, in Spain? Yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. Um, we had a bit of rain the other day, but no, all in all, it's lovely here at the moment. Um, uh, I did see a picture of you the other day. I think it was Mike Shin, Shinton sent it to me. He met you in London, I think, at one of the rallies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the last rally, uh, I met Mike and I, everyone really, all, all um, a lot of the, the Patriot guys, and was amazing. And I filmed it. Um, I filmed it, and it got deleted off YouTube. Yeah. Put it on Facebook, and then they wiped me off. They completely wiped my Facebook. Now they've wiped moving on TV, Instagram. Ever since the nonsense elections, you yep. know, it's on there every single night pushing it you know doing all the work continuous continuous so i got wiped off instagram so what do we do we start another one we start another one so luckily i had another one from my theater company so i've been using that one and uh, oh it's, it's unbelievable at the moment but i'm really, yeah. really grateful that um we're so awake yeah. you know yeah. and um i must admit when i first sat there and watched the elections I was so nervous, you know, really, really scared. Um, I'm t you know, and I saw what was going on. Like, for a while there, I thought, oh my God, oh my God, this is unbelievable. Everything we've been doing for nothing. And was really, really worried. And then my, my intuition kicked in. And I thought to myself, hang on a second. Remember when Trump went into hospital with COVID, uh, you know? And I did the reading, I did my tarot, because that's another thing. It, everything has kind of opened up, all my psychic abilities and all happened in the last couple of months. And I did a reading and I thought, ah, I get it. He's going in there, he's going to come out in two days or something and he's going to show everyone this is just a flu bug. Yeah, and yeah. so and then suddenly it, it kind of dawned on me, also by going on Red's, uh, the group we go on, I won't mention, on Facebook and um, suddenly it all fell into place. And I thought, oh, it's tactics, it's tactics. And I've got a friend, um, a really strong friend who's very connected to Trump now. I won't say his name, but you probably know his name. He's an actor and he fills me in on everything and I'm really grateful. So um, I thought it'd be so cool to bring you on because um, yes, I do feel that this is all happening for a reason. It's, Trump, it's just draining the swamp, isn't it? It's bringing it all up. But I want to hear more from you. Anything good, anything positive that you can tell us? Oh, tons. Let's, first let's first of all, a, let's listen. I'll listen. First of all, um, you know, I said right from the very, very early on, I probably said it eight weeks ago, that um, the mainstream media will be the last ones to be brought down. Because everyone said, well, why don't you bring them down now? Why don't you do this now? He's dug a hole for them, and they've jumped in with both feet. <laughs> because you have to look at protocol. When an election happens, the protocol is that the, per the person that loses phones up the person that's won and congratulates them, like Hillary Clinton did four years ago. Mm -hmm. But that hasn't yeah. happened this time. It was announced, not by the White House, not by the official parties, it was announced by CNN. Right, okay. And all the other media jumped on board. Then all the celebrities jumped on board and they all went out, yeah, yeah, yeah. And suddenly they're gonna find out they've just jumped right into the massive hole that's been dug by Donald Trump for them. He's gonna expose them because nobody would believe how evil and corrupt they are. Exactly. Yeah. Because, because Charlie, how, I mean, since when does a, a media company decide who your president is? I mean, it's got to go through the Senate and the House and yep. it's got to go through all the, you know, it's a bit like what they did here in the UK with the lockdown rules. They, they created all these, um, they're not, none of them are laws. Nothing created is law. They just pushed everything through. Yeah. really quickly and um, I remember years ago when I was in a wheelchair I studied the law a little bit and I'm really glad I did because you have to put a bill through first 
and it takes forever to create a law. So they did the same thing. They yep. suddenly decide, oh, okay, Charlie Ward's president, Lauren's president, whatever they decide, it's insane, isn't it? The wonderful thing is that all these things that are do they're doing, and we're, we're seeing it now in the United Kingdom, where the members of parliament have agreed to these new COVID-19 rules. Um, so they're exposing themselves as to who is corrupt and who is not. And the ones that have voted against it are the ones that uh, are not as corrupt, let's put it that way. Um, right. They're, they're yeah. exposing themselves. So it's very, very clear. And so that you know, there's been six courts set aside for the prosecution of those already. Amazing. Uh, that will happen in the very, very near future. They're going to be held accountable. And that the, the House of Cards will start to tumble. This week, we'll start to see arrests publicly of people that are, that are wrong. And Donald Trump will expose them. But if Donald Trump hadn't done this, nobody would believe him. He wouldn't believe how corrupt the mainstream media is, how corrupt the governments are. And he's exposing the difference between good and evil. And he'll show what's good and he'll show what's evil. So, yeah, we're, we're living in an amazing time right now. It's, I, I'm so excited to see it play out um, yes. because he's, <laughs> he's got them cornered um, and he's, he's, gonna, he's, he's starting to expose them. And uh, this is huge. What's going to happen this week is huge. It is. It's so exciting. And because I, I find it really, really difficult to understand how, look, there's a lot of great people in America that are Democrat. You know, I, um, I have friends that, you know, can't talk to them anymore, but they don't know how evil these people are. I mean, I can't understand how anyone could vote for Planned Parenthood. How can they vote for such evil? What what they you know what they they put it out there about full term abortions, and but these people don't even know. How do they not know when you click on Biden's website, and or it takes you straight to Antifa? How do they not know how evil these people are? Is it's it to do the media has blocked it. It's to do with brainwashing. It's to do with indoctrination, yeah. brainwashing, and the television, the ma mainstream media pumping out a narrative. And the other thing you have to remember is, is that in the UK, especially in the north of England, they're mainly Labour voters because they're hard working. That's what it used to resemble. Mm. And what's happened in America with the Democrat Party, also remember that Donald Trump all his life was a Democrat. Remember that. Right. Um, and they've been, the Democratic Party has been taken over by a communist, Marxist, um, Nazi organization, the really? deep state, the cabal. It's been taken over, it's been hijacked. And of course, the problem is, is that people don't do, I've got plenty of time to do my research. I've started to realize there's a lot of people, my daughter's one that's included in this, who doesn't have the time to do any research because she's, she's, a, you know, she's a football manager in the top league of women's football in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a business as well. Oh, wow. Love to interview her. <laughs> exactly. Funny. And she has a newborn baby. So wow. she doesn't have the time to do the research. And she's working from silly o'clock in the morning till silly o'clock at night. I love her to death. Um, the only time she gets a few minutes to sit down, she just has a bite to eat. And maybe the telly's on in the background. More often than not, it's not on the news. It's on sports news because that's what she's into. Too. But um, she doesn't have the time to have a look. So it falls at people like you and I to do the research. And um, Lee Hemmington, who's in charge of my social media, has set up a platform called the Jasara Club, where we have got many, many truth seekers all in one place that are trying to establish the truth. And that's now grown from, because since I got taken off YouTube, um, I grew from 37 subscribers up to 176,000 and then they took me off. Uh, we grew another channel up to 50 or 60,000. They took that one off. We grew another one up to 40,000. They took that one off. Up, and the fourth one went up to about 10,000. That all got taken off. And then I just turned around and said to the guys, we need to have our own platform to get the truth out there because this is getting blocked and it's getting silly. So we created our own platform, mm -hmm. which was the drcharlieward.com website. And we've only had that up now for three weeks, I think. Mm. 
and I think we, we're close to two million subscribers wow. or followers, which is oh, that's incredible. So helpful, isn't it? it? It shows you that people want to know the truth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's it comes with a lot of responsibility. I now sort of try and verify everything four or five times to make sure that I'm accurate. I've got a lovely interview coming up this week with uh, Mary Fanning, the woman that does Operation Hammer, that's exposed that, and Operation Scorecard. Um, What's that? Uh, and the general, the general from the U.S. military, he wants to be on the on the Zoom call as well. So oh my like, God! That would people be like that. But what's Operation Hammer? What's that? It's, it's basically where Obama, has, uh, instead of protecting the United States, has turned the operation around so that, uh, basically, um, so that uh, it turns turns on its own people. Sure. Um, oh. I will go. I will find out more detail when we talk live to them this week. Um, but it's it just shows you how corrupt the cabal and the deep state really are, and this is what Donald Trump is about to expose to the world: mm -hmm. the corruption and evil in every single country in the world. But, uh, but but started off by corrupt people in power in many countries. Um, but this is for anybody that they can Google Operation Hammer. An operation scorecard and start looking into it and they will I've, I've had a brief look at it but i want to hear straight from the horse's mouth i did speak to mary fanning shortly for a short period of time last last week she was on a show with um prime minister and susan price and one other um but yeah fascinating uh, the truth is coming out and it's your job and my job to get it out to our our followers and yes. deliver the message as clearly as we can because we're dealing with the truth now and the mm. truth needs to be clear for people to understand what the truth is because we've lived in a web of lies deceit um but donald trump has got total control and he's allowing them to expose themselves so we're living in a beautiful time right now and all this all this hoo-ha that's going on in the mainstream media that biden's won complete and utter bullshit. Um, mainstream media, at their best, telling lies. There is no truth to what they're saying. And just so that you, I, I don't know if you followed me, but uh, I mentioned about six or eight weeks ago that the, the uh, they had the quantum voting system. They've got the quantum can you financial explain, system. Is that with the water? The water the watermark. Yeah, can you explain that for us? Yeah, prior to the election. They planned this. It's all been planned. It, it was very carefully planned that they had a watermark in every official piece of paper that was going to become a ballot paper. Because the ballot papers were, were um, most of them were printed in separate states. Each state was responsible for printing their own, their own uh, ballot papers. And they had a format, that obviously, they had, to, they had to conform to. But the paper itself was all supplied by one supplier. That paper had a watermark in that was not visual to the naked eye. It also had a serial number, a quantum. It was a quantum watermark with a serial number for every ballot paper. So that every ballot paper could be tracked. So if a load of ballot papers were all signed together in one place or ticked in one place, there's a chance that fraud was committed. If they were destroyed, it, would, it registered on the quantum system. If they were, if you had two identical ballots, one was posted in New York and one was posted in Los Angeles at exactly the same time, it would pick up within a millisecond because the quantum voting system operates at a trillion frames per second. So it's not, it's impossible at this moment in time, it's impossible to hack it. So for those who knew what was going on, Donald Trump won the election by the official vote by around 80%. Yeah. It was a complete and utter landslide. Well, it, I mean, it was obvious. You, how stupid can people be when you saw the, the rallies? You saw how many people, and then you saw Biden's rallies. I mean... There's, you know, there's so like, much. Somebody's yeah. put out a video as well about Joe Biden. We sense. know nothing about him. Because from, from my intel, Joe Biden is no longer with us. What we're seeing is a clone. Yeah. And when we look I heard at the it's, images, it's a body suit. This is what I heard. Yeah, it could be. That's Whatever it is, suit. it's not the real Joe Biden. Mm. And nobody's asking those questions, but it's, it's fairly obvious 
the, the person that was around two years ago is not the same person. So whatever's going on there um, will come out anyway. And then you talk about Hunter Biden, his son, who was involved in huge amounts of corruption that mainstream media have all hidden away to do with, you know, first of all, he's a drug addict. Um, second of all, second mm -hmm. of all, he owns the largest porn network in the world, Pornhub. Um, third of all, he's involved in massive corruption. And him and him and Joe Biden uh, have criminal investigations going on from Ukraine as we speak. And they're all being hushed up by the mainstream media. So this is where the mainstream media are completely complicit with the deep state and the cabal. And this is why they're trying to force through an illegal vote. They're trying to force it through to get Trump out of the way because he's exposing them all. So that you can understand why the mainstream media are desperate to stop Trump because he's about to expose them all. Yes, he's draining the swamp. He's draining the swamp. Yeah. And But I can assure you he's totally in control. Right. Um, but he is he's allowing them to show their hand and to show mm. exactly what's happening. And if he didn't yeah. do that, nobody would believe it. Exactly, because the media um, have got to report about this voter fraud. They've got no choice. They've got to. So bit by bit, the general public is going to be watching the corruption bit by unfold bit to realize that everything is, is very is, is wrong. And, and understand that this was all tracked and that, I mean, for God's sake, you've got people of 170, uh, you know, that are vote, are voted. They put their family pets on there and, and they're finding a huge amount of ballots that have been dumped by the road. And of course, Jamie O'Keefe, I mean, <clears throat> I got a feeling he's been involved, you know, Project Veritas, he's been doing yep. a huge amount a voter fraud work. And that's why all the alarm bells went off. And I thought, no, nah, it doesn't make any sense, any of this. They must have done something. It must have been all planned. Well, they tracked, they tracked they all the They won't wake up, will they? The public won't wake up. So you have to do something where, you know, the media's not going to put anything out there about paedophilia, sex trafficking, and all of that stuff, because they're so involved. But they cannot get away with voter fraud. They have to put it out there, and that's their downfall. You see, my father always said, uh, Charlie, and I said, I think we said this in the first interview, they're too cocky now. And Hitler went to Russia, and the Russian winter is what annihilated them, the Nazis. And Dad always said that. He said, when you get too cocky and you start to play God, that's when you fall. And that's what's happened to them. So they're too cocky. They're putting it out there. They, they, and, peop, and, and bit by bit, people are starting to wake up and thinking even people that <clears throat> up until now, and my husband, uh, my separated husband, even him, he, he's giving me information now and he's for Trump and he's seeing it, he, you know, because it's, it's, it's got ridiculous. But how about England? <laughs> what, what is going on? With well, this, this is a classic case where Donald Trump is exposing. You have to understand that the government in England, no matter who they are, every single side, Conservative, Labour, Liberal, all of them, the Houses of Parliament, are all upheld by maritime law. Admiralty law, as they call it in America. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is going to remove that. We're going to revert to constitutional law and common law, which is the law of the land. Is that the Magna Carta? We'll That's exactly what it is. Okay. Yeah. So that the law that we're operating under in the United Kingdom allows the parliament to be run the way it is. Once you change the law, parliament ceases to exist. So we will have to form completely new government now, what Donald Trump is doing right now is exposing every government in every country so that when we get the chance to vote for a new government, we don't look in the same swamp. That we look towards, and there are many, many talented men and women, retired business men and women in the United Kingdom that have no no uh, um, contamination by the political class, the political systems that could run the country beautifully. 
Well, you and I could run the country better than they're running it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, Donald Trump yes. didn't have a day's polit political experience when he took over. And he's turned the world on its head because he's looking at it from a business point of view rather than a corrupt political view. Hmm. So what we're going through right now and what you're going through in England right now is an exposing of the corrupt political class on every side. So when this reset happens and when we move uh, from the old system into the new system, this is a wake up call to voters, not to vote for the same type of people that we had running our countries before. I know many, many, many wonderful, honourable, honest people in England, retired business men and women, who would be brilliant at running the country, who could do it for all of our benefits, rather than at the moment you're, you're dealing with a political class, it's all about them. The only time they worry about you is when they want their vote or your vote. Yeah. Rest of the time, they don't yeah. give a shit about any the, the normal yeah. people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, take, 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 take. I know, I know. I must admit that I saw it from the progression of my own life with renting. So yeah. like rent a property, uh, you have to be earning huge amounts of money. You're not allowed to have pets anymore. Nothing. You're not even allowed to be self-employed. You're not allowed to have guarantors. I've seen, um, but through this lockdown as well, I've seen people's, my friends, businesses just collapse completely because the amount of rent that they pay, oh my God. I have friends that are running a yoga center and uh, they're, they're just completely you know, drowning because of this. So when it reverts to common law, how's this going to help the ordinary people? What's going to change? How is it going to become easier well, to live? This is, in this, is all part of, this is all part of Nasara and just Sarah for us in, in Europe. Nasara is national. As, uh, which is over in America, Chisara is global, and every, every country has signed up to this, and there will be a redistribution of wealth, there will be forgiveness of debt, which is completely corrupt because of the, uh, the, the debt system is just, is completely wrong, you know, they print money without any backing whatsoever, and they enslave everybody to debt, and it's, 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 it's the biggest scam in history. And to bring down that there was three pillars that held that whole thing together of the of the deep state and the cabal. You had the city of London, the monarchy, queen. She was one pillar. You had the Vatican and the Phoenicians. And then you had the Federal Reserve and the um, Washington, D.C. D.C. stands for District of Columbia. So a completely independent state, same as City of London is independent from everything else in the UK and same as Vatican is its own city. So there are three independent pillars that were holding everything together. So Donald Trump took, took the Federal Reserve, which was a private company, and backed it into the Treasury so that they had control of it. So it became part of the US government rather than an independent company that was just printing money. And it was, so he took control of that. He also took control of the Vatican, emptied the Vatican and arrested everybody in there and then took out the gold, the, the cash and also all the documentation that has securely been taken to, to, to the United States. And then for those of you in London who know that Buckingham Palace from that day forward has been empty. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you don't leave a palace like that empty just for a common cold. You obviously yes. know an awful lot more. And I also yeah. heard last weekend, I think it was, that the Queen announced that she was going to abdicate. That was in the Daily Express. Has she been, is she gone? Is that I'll have to wait and see on that one. I've heard, I've heard conspiracy theories. I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking for some new, new conspiracy theories because most of the old ones have come true already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. OK, so what will happen with all the money? What's going to happen with uh, all the gold? Because apparently under the Vatican, there were miles and miles and miles of gold. That, so are they going to distribute it to all of us? Are we all going to get it's rid gonna, of 
First of all, it's going to be distributed worldwide to back the currency. So the currencies are backed by gold. Right. There will be a process of revaluation so that the currencies will, will value up at the one dollar will probably equal one pound, will equal one euro, will equal one of each currency around the world. So you do away with the trade wars that have been created by the deep state and the cabals. You know, all of this was man created. You get back to one to one around the world and then you find that Africa beca becomes a wealthy place again because the, the natural resource in Africa and South America is so great and yet it's been robbed blind by, by corrupt organizations such as the United Kingdom, France, Belgium, Holland, etc. These are all countries that have raped these countries blind in, in America as well. Uh, th that, that is changing. The shift is happening. We're moving into a great awakening right now. So we'll see a, a lot of change with Nasara and Jasara. And how it was announced, I don't know. How it, It's already started to be phased in. We're starting to see things happen. Um, the transition is happening. Um, in England, they give it a name, furlough payments. So they're starting to put money out. out. And I'll tell you right now, if Trump had lost this, the corrupt evil side would have wanted that money back with interest. We'd be gone, wouldn't we? Yep. That lot I got in originally. A, there's no chance of Trump losing this. Thank yep. God. No chance at all. So Hopefully. again, come, sorry, Charlie. So coming back to, as I say, people that have lost everything. Um, I know that um, my husband gets a furlough from the duty free. I mean, they made billions and billions and over the years, I've seen him come on with less money. It's it's unbelievable. So he gets something. But at the end of all of this, um, one thing I've noticed is the lottery. Um, they have been given millions and millions of pounds for, you know, like myself, for artists and for humanitarian things like that. But what about these people that have lost everything? Are they going to be compensated? Are they going to have better lives? Is it going to become, like I said about these friends of mine, that are trying to run something so good and so positive, and yet they, they've lost, they can't do it because of the lockdowns. So will they be compensated? With, are their lives going to get easier? The way, the way that I see it from the information that I've gathered is, is that if you consider the amount of tax that they have paid in their lives that has been completely corrupt, and if you consider the amount of money they have been traded for as a commodity without their knowledge, it's I understand that we'll be getting that back as compensation. At what value yet? I don't know. Right. But I know that we will all be in a far better financial position than we've ever been in before. Good. Um, well, that's what we need to hear because I, I want to give out some good news. And I've seen collapse, people collapsing all over the place yeah. here. And it's just unbelievable. But we, okay, let's get to the flu bug. And what we talked about this nine months ago, I can't believe it, we're still, yeah. it's nearly Christmas the whole year. Uh, we've been in lockdown, <laughs> you know. I thought it would blow over, uh, you know, in a few weeks, but you always said that this was a cover and the lockdowns are a cover for the children, the dams and releasing the kids out of the, the tunnels. So do you want to talk a little bit about this lockdown, this last one? Is this to um, arrest what's left of the corruption and in order to blow up the rest of the tunnels? Because if you look at the particular places that are locked down, it, it's common sense, like the docks in Liverpool and a lot of um, holiday um, centres where paedophilia is rife, apparently, is what I've been told. So anyway, I'll hand over to you. What else can you tell us? No, the lockdowns are definitely for, for two things. Well, for a number of things. Um, the financial reset is one. The second one is, is for the rescue of these children and for the arrests of the paedophile gangs um, and for the emptying of these deep underground military bases, which we know as dumbs. Um, I've said on my journey here, I've had the opportunity to actually go down in one of these dumps many years ago in Bath. So I know what they're like. I mean, they're incredible networks, uh, huge, huge networks of tunnels. Um, it's not just children that have been stolen. They actually harvest children down there. 
That's the word they use for it. And the children that are harvested underground, they hardly ever survive when you bring them out into natural yeah, light and they I die very that. quickly, yeah, which know. is incredibly sad. Mm. So all of these earthquakes that you've been hearing about everywhere are not actual real earthquakes. They are blowing up these tunnels so they can never be used again. That's the whole process is when they empty these tunnels of children, whether they've been kidnapped and taken there or whether they've been harvested there, um, the trouble is, is it's all to do with organ harvesting and all of these children, are, when they're harvested there, are then taken to Wuhan in China where they're processed. So if they're processed oh, yeah. for their organs, it's all done there. Like the Falun Dafa, the, what they did to the Falun Gong. Yeah. As well, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting as well, Lauren, that um, COVID-19 coronavirus was patented in 2018 at the per Purbright Institute in the United Kingdom in Surrey. And for your, for your viewers, Purbright is the middle name of Rothschild. Oh, God. Wow. And also that the, the patent was signed off by the Queen. Just to give you an insight into what we're dealing with. So the corruption goes to the highest level. This was a man-made virus that was created. Who released it, you'll never, we'll probably never ever find out, but it was definitely those involved in the deep state. But there is a virus. There is a virus, but it's, it's, uh, the, the, let's get things in the right terminology. There is, a, there is germs. Our body is made up of a trillion more and more viruses. There's nothing wrong with a virus, nothing at all. But in our mind, we're thinking virus like the ones in a computer. That Bill Gates created a virus in a yeah. computer, computer that can contaminate the whole thing. Mm. As human beings, it's biologically and scientifically impossible for anybody to transmit a virus. Yeah, I know. We learned that in school. Correct. We learned it in school. And I remember also, because um, I got into holistic therapies years and years ago, and I remember um, my therapist, uh, this amazing man, mentor, he said to me, um, if you get a virus, they can't give you, a, um, only for a bug can they give you antibiotics. Because the virus is something completely different. Leukemia Correct. is a virus. You can't catch leukemia. No. You know, and uh, things like that. <laughs> so we, we all know that none of us are scared of germs. Because we've grown up with them. We know about them. Mm. And coronavirus COVID-19 is a germ. It's a man-made germ, so it's dangerous. So that we, you can transmit germs, we know that. But the, when they started saying about transmitting viruses, you knew it came from a computer brain. Yeah. Because he knew he made all his money out of creating a virus in a computer and then cre creating an antivirus. That's where he made his money. Okay, so come back to that a second. Because the, the new information I'm getting uh, from guy, Michael Barincio, which I'm sure you'll have him on eventually, he's going to be interviewing a, um, a big pharma guy, an exec, who is going to admit that there is absolutely nothing. There is nothing. That this is just a cold, as you said. That's exactly what it is. Well, so you're saying it's germs and it's a cold and it's totally yep. curable. Yep. There's nothing, you know, nothing... Um, everything that they put out there, how dangerous it is, and that you need it's money. All lies. It's all lies. So it's just a basic germ. Mm -hmm. You have a strong immune system like us, or if you don't and you build one up, you, you get well within a couple of days. End of. And the only thing that with this particular coronavirus, COVID-19, is you can stimulate it to create a thrombosis with 5G. Yes, that's what I thought. So what's happening with all of that? Because Mark Steele is working day and night and day and night. So um, apparently there's two different types of 5G. One that is that, because we need technology. Yeah. Of course we one need. One that's dangerous, one that's not. Right, okay. So have we got the non-dangerous one now? Have we managed? The, the, the dangerous one was the Chinese one. The safer one is the um, uh, Tesla one. Okay, so but it, look, Lauren, with with everything in our house, you know, I've said this many times. We have many dangerous things in our house. We have microwave ovens. We have normal ovens. We have knives. 
the most dangerous thing when most people have in a house is a car. You can kill yourself in it very, very easily if you don't know what yes. you're doing. And we need, need to learn to manage anything like this properly to protect ourselves. Hematites. Yeah. Hematites. Yeah. Hematites um, is absolutely brilliant. And people can get this anywhere. And this really, really helps with things like 5G. And of course, building up your immune system, it's all the same. Of course. Um, but unfortunately, you're going to get a lot of people that won't listen and they're going to be very vulnerable and they're, they're going to get sick, not just from that, but also from wearing masks. And let's face it, we're going through the flu season. Yeah. And of course, the governments. So, OK, so are the government using the flu season to say that they've got to lock us down? Or are they actually now controlled completely? So this is all part of the plan. This is uh, right. Very, very simply, a lot of people are going to die during the next two months. And they come from different areas. It comes from people who were deprived of an operation in March, April, May and June that needed an operation. These people are going to die because they didn't have the operation. Mm -hmm. There's going to be people that die through wearing a mask because their immune system is now reduced so that when germs come around, they've got no resistance to them. They can't fight. Them. They're breathing in carbon yep. dioxide the, all the, the time. Crazy. They're destroying their own immune system. Yeah. There's, going to be, there's, a, there's now more people in the UK that have died committing suicide because of, because of the pressure they're under than have actually died from COVID-19. And there's also people dying from heart attacks because of the stress that they're under because of this. Um, and all these things... Like I, I pointed out the other day that they've rejigged the figures with the CDC now for the United Kingdom. They've now worked out there's only 1,400 people that died in the first six months of 2020 of just COVID-19 and nothing else. That's what they're saying. Mm. The average wow. age of that person is 88 years old. Uh, but the good news is, Lauren, for the first time in history, nobody in the UK has died of old age. <laughs> or cancer. Exactly. So, I mean, you've got nurses coming out now, which is amazing. They're starting to come out and they're saying the hospitals are empty and they're starting to say the truth. So again, but Charlie, I just want to take you back to that question again. The government in the UK, are they controlled? And is this all part of the plan? Or are they still doing the cabal's work that they're still fighting back they're, let's face they're, it they're, they're fighting back they're, they're part of the deep state they're part of the deep state fighting right. back right and, uh, they're, they're, they're evil trump is exposing them okay so we have to still keep working all the time to yeah. expose to expose to expose to expose them. they're doing it all themselves we just have to make the public aware of what they're doing okay so on one hand you've got the good guys that are working to end the tunnels, to blow up the dams, to get the kids out, there, and, and to get all the MPs who are corrupt. And on the other hand, you've still got a tiny speck of the cabal that are fighting back because they know that they're finished. So that's what we're looking at. We're at war. It's not even a tiny speck, Lauren. It's, it's virtually every it's government in the world is full of deep state and cabal operatives. Still quite a lot of by the people. by relation to numbers, yes, it is a tiny speck. But you know, these people are in positions of power who are controlling our lives at the moment. But they're evil. And Donald and it's not just that. Sorry, it's not just that, Charlie. Um, we can't use war anymore. Mm -hmm. One of the beautiful things that I don't know how people have not seen this is that Donald Trump stopped wars. Correct. The minute he got in. And that has been the biggest thing that he did and how people cannot see that, that there hasn't been any wars, but of course there's a war. There's a war between us and those that are not wearing masks. Now, yeah. how do you feel? Because this is what I feel. As you know, I'm, I'm an ex-war child and, and I've been doing everything to stop calling the men up to fight the police. And the reason I walked away from one of the rallies with Kate Shimriani. I, I know she does amazing work and I, I um, everything she's doing, but I felt that it was getting into violence and it was getting into a war cry. And so I walked away from that and I said, no, I'm not going to be involved with any of that. How do you feel about some of those stand-up events? Because I get the feeling that they're not coming from, from a certain space. They're coming from a different space. I mean. What do you think about that? 
I think you have to stand up against evil, but I think also um, the, the, just by the fact that we're in a war, there's going to be moments where it's not nice, where the, there is there is friction. This is this is life. We just need to be thankful that we're not having to carry arms in the Third World War. They're standing up for what's right, and yes, it will cause a reaction on both sides, and people will get overexcited on both sides. That's just human human behavior that you'll get people that are extremely angry on both sides um but i did hear from kate and from her team that a number of police had said to them you're doing a good job keep up the good work oh, that's so, amazing that's there amazing. are you know this but in the police force and and in the military there are good and bad in every walk of life and it's finding the good ones but you've got you've got evil police officers out there that just want to cause trouble that are provocative. The same on the side of truth. You've got people that get overexcited about it. Um, and I've often said this because I, it, it, it makes it so visual to me of a shepherd. If a shepherd, it doesn't it pushes his sheep, they go everywhere. But if he leads his sheep, they come with him. And you see a, a shepherd walking through the field with his staff and he'll just walk and they'll follow him. And he'll yeah. just be whistling them along and the dogs will be doing the work behind them, just keeping them in line. Um, but he'll just be leading them. And if you lead sheep, they come with you. If you push sheep, they go everywhere. Um, and we'll, yeah, look, some people get overpassionate because they know the truth and they get frustrated by the fact that people can't see it. Mm. And I grew up in a religious cult where people would talk about stuff, normal thing in the days outside of you know, the normal world that I didn't live in. I couldn't see it because of my brainwashing in the cult. I couldn't see what yeah. they were seeing. Yeah, I know. So I understand it. And uh, that stood me in good stead for where we are now, because I know what it's like to be brainwashed. I know exactly what you mean. And, and I grew up in Israel. Yeah. I, I hold everything was Israelis are good, the Arabs are bad. Until I, I left and 9-11 and everything changed. And I saw that, you know, no, nothing is the way you think it is. But and it's also very interesting what you said, because I had a terrible, difficult time. Um, one of the reasons I separated from my husband is because I could not convince him and I didn't feel that I could live with him anymore. And so it got to a point with me where I really had to put my sanity first. And, my, and I had to say, look, I'm just not even going to talk about it anymore. And a lot of people, I think, have got to that. And um, I decided to work in a different way uh, yeah. rather than go to the rallies and get myself into violence. And, and I don't didn't want to get hurt because I must admit, in the beginning of this, I, it was kind of like, oh, I'm going out there and I'm going to fight for freedom and I'm going to be, you know, Joan of Arc and all of that. And, and then I suddenly realized, no, we're in a new consciousness now. Donald Trump ended wars. The human race has to try to figure out now with their brains and the internet and light beings, we're all here um, because we are, we're light beings, you know, we're star seeds and whatever. Um, we have to figure out, this is it now. You cannot pick up a weapon. You've got to use something different because if you don't, this is going to go on forever and you'll kill one policeman and then you'll kill another one and then another person will be killed and that's it. Never ends. Never ends. It's a bit like when you watch Romeo and Juliet and you see those two young people, you know, all those families, all they had to do was love each other and they would never have died. Yeah. You know, it's all out there. So, so... So you agree with me, and, and that's why I had a massive shift. And when I had that shift, my whole life started to fall into place. And I realized that moving on TV was going to be about promoting that, trying to find that love and um, doing a lot of research into, if we could talk about a bit about aliens and, and what, what, how much control has, have the light beings. I mean, I believe that Donald Trump is an alien. He's a star seed, like some of us, and he's a he's a time traveler. I mean, there's so much evidence out there about Varon and photographs, and you know, it's absolutely fascinating. And I, I don't think we could have won 
without that extra extra support mm -hmm. is that is that how you feel because i don't think the human race would have won without that extra support i th in my humble personal opinion i think this is god's work i think god has his hand on donald trump and he's using donald trump to do this now god has plenty of he has, he has all the power uh, whether it's human whether it's alien whether it's supernatural whatever it is um he's in control and um i've maybe maybe i'm too simplistic but i just think god is controlling everything right now and he's using donald trump and he's using all the powers that he's got to expose evil because this isn't this isn't a personal battle between biden and trump this is between good and evil yes. that's how i see it um, i might be wrong but that's how i see it yeah it's a beautiful answer. God is love. And it's the battle of God, um, evil against um, good against evil, as you say, and love. I had a massive vision after 9-11. And I was never into this stuff as much as, I, you know, my whole culture now. And I, I remember seeing the, the statue um, of, of um, the Virgin Mary statue just blew up in front of me. And this big word came across the sky and it was love. Mm -hmm. It was love. And I don't know where it came from. And I started studying A Course in Miracles, which is basically the teachings of um, Jesus. And it's all about love, being a yeah. Jew. I mean, Jesus was a Jew. Yeah. Uh, and then, I, you know, I've had massive spiritual awakenings. My biggest one was with a label that they gave me. Uh, uh, borderline personality disorder, which I'm prepared to lay everything on the line and say that this is actually just a conglomerate of conditions and they needed something in order to keep us all quiet. And I had a massive spiritual awakening in something called the therapeutic community in the UK on the NHS for free 10 years ago. It's actually 10 years ago because I went in and guys forks and I brought the fireworks apparently with Israel and all my bombs and everything. And I walked out with total inner peace and no mental health issue. And I made the connection between childhood abuse and mental health issues, because that's again going my the story that I grew up with. Yeah. And the reason I'm saying this is every and then I was not dumbed down with my work. I wasn't allowed to talk and tell mm -hmm. people the truth. And so I have been able to see the progression and studying a course of miracles and bringing this thing called love in. I saw everyone as a mirror and a teacher. And that's how I've been able to, to live my life. And so just, just a little bit of an insight because I've actually written a whole musical called Encounters, which I'm casting, which is all about showing creativity and love and compassion and a bit of the therapeutic community. It's on the NHS for God's sake, Charlie. No one knows what it is and it's provided for free on the NHS, but this is what they've done to us. Sure. They haven't told us anything, but so that's where the love and, and, and all this work comes in. But okay, I want to come to the broadcast. So what the progression is going to be, I mean, another thing is I've known about these broadcasts for a long, long time, because I remember I am, I'm signed on to something called Prepare for Change. And years ago, I sat there and I read this out to my husband and it was all about everything that's happening now. I've since suddenly clicked. Everything was David Wilcock and all of them, you know, together. And it was all about light beings and it was all about the broadcast. Everything was going to go quiet. Um, the whole media was going to tell you everything. So... So the progression, we can see it's happening. I, I, I really, I saw that and I thought, oh my God, it's all going to happen. I, I always believed deep down inside that we were going to expose everything that we were built, we were studying. You know, I studied it when I was in a wheelchair. I had nothing else to do but watch YouTube. And then I started watching Pizzagate and Liz Crokin. And it was, I knew there was something wrong. I knew, I knew there was something wrong with the entertainment business. And I knew when I watched my mother die from cancer and my aunt and, you know, and, and everyone until it got to me, I saw what they did to them. And I thought they're killing their immune systems. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
And that doesn't mean that's not right. I mean, if you cut yourself, your body heals itself. Mm -hmm. Your immune system is a God-given thing, mm -hmm. you know? So I watched the progression. So, so is that how it's going to happen? So at some point, Trump is going to get in. Is it going to be before? Are we going to have a Christmas this year? Yeah, of course. They're pushing Christmas everywhere. They're putting yeah. the greedy Christmas, you know what I mean? Where people are going to, they're going to think they're going to die. So they're going to go out there and spend what's left of their money. They're going to stand in the cold with masks. And, and, and it's just unbelievable. It's nefarious to watch. So how, what's going to happen? Is Trump going to be in by Christmas? Yeah, I would have thought so. I, I don't think it will take that long. I think the pack of cards will fall very quickly. The minute you start uh, exposing one by one, and that they start, they'll start first thing this morning in America uh, with court cases, um, pointing out because they, they've got so much evidence, you couldn't make it up. I mean, they, it, the damning evidence is unbelievable. But the whole idea of this was to expose, expose the mainstream media as to how corrupt they are. That's why it was allowed to go this far. Because uh, um, the mainstream media all jumped on and all like um, public published it, and uh, it's not true, it's a lie. Yeah. So, Donald so just, Trump is exposing them yeah. exactly for what they are. You see, start again, you see, that's the thing is the progression of, of me trying to get on there and tell the British public that if you're diagnosed with this cloud cuckoo land BPD, you can go to your doctor and you can get free nearly two years of free treatments without medication and get well. But the mainstream wouldn't let me on anywhere. No, exactly. Didn't involve drugs. No, wouldn't let exactly. me on anywhere. So I, can, I, I started to understand what's going on. They don't want people to know that you can be well. No. Get back to you, Charlie. So no, you're absolutely spot wrong, on right. Very wrong. Yeah. You're absolutely spot on right. Our immune systems can look after ourselves if we look after them. And all, all um, when, you should have a chat with Dr. Robert Young. Yes, I'm in touch with Robert Young. But He's an amazing man, to, amazing man. Thank you. I want to come back to the mainstream media. So what my point that I was making was that they wouldn't put on anything that didn't involve drugs. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the one show which is a community, supposedly. That's why I started moving on TV. That is the mainstream media for mm -hmm. everyone. You know, every single person is a celebrity. You're the celebrity of the awakening. And it's so exciting to have one of the, the you and Charlie Freak. I, I still can't get him. I'm looking forward to talking to Charlie Freak about Hitler, being a Jew. I want to yeah. know more. I want to know everything. So coming back again to the broadcast, sorry to stop you there. So the progression. So how is it going to work? Sorry? I've the got something. The progression something... of the broadcasts that's going to work. What, the emergency broadcast? Yes, yes. The emergency broadcast has already been recorded. And when Trump is ready, that will go out worldwide. And I don't know when that will be. Um, but he will be, he'll be in total control of that. And one of the biggest things I've learned, Lauren, on this journey is, is that he's doing it absolutely spot on right on timing. As much as I wanted it all done yesterday, and we all want it done as quickly as possible, he's making sure there's no mistakes. Right. So the, the, the broadcast itself has been pre-recorded, is ready to run, and when he's ready to release it, it will be released. Okay, um, so the broadcasts are going to show, they're going to be on all the mainstream, so nobody can miss them, because they're going to be on all the mainstream. That's how I understand it. This is how you understand it, and it's going to be exposing everything, and it'll be like Nuremberg-style trials, where people will actually be trialed in front of the human race. Yeah. How are, I mean... We're saying that this could happen by the end of the year. We're going to lose a huge amount of people. How are they going to cope? I mean, for the last five years, I would go and sit with friends and say sex trafficking and pedophilia. And do you know what the mole children are? And when the kids come out, you can't look at the physical anymore. You're going to have to 
look inside and 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 love these children and mm -hmm. oh and and this person and that person and I'm telling them that oh I don't want to talk about it. I still don't want to talk about it. I had a friend who came over. He came over with a mask, and it's very rare that anyone comes here. But he came here with a mask, and I said, "You're not coming in. <laughs> Take your mask off." So he came in, and I started telling him about Trump and how what a good man he. I'm not. I don't want to hear it. And then I said about I started to talk about a bit about the pedophile. No, I don't want to hear it. So there was this joke about taking the red pill, tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit. Now it, it, it's it's just the Holocaust was a, 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 um, a speck in the ocean. And people, I can't imagine how it, people felt when they found out about the concentration camps. How are they going to deal with this? I mean, how are they going to do it, Charlie? I don't know. They'll let it out bit by bit, slowly, slowly. Right. Um, and that, from what I understand, I think I've said this the whole way through my journey, we'll only ever find out between 10 and 20% of everything that happened. We'll only find out a fraction of it. Um, right. That's fairly clear. I think there'll be key strategic exposures um, that we will see. Um, I have far more information than most people, but I can't talk about it because of, yeah. uh, because of my NDA. But um, the, You can only say, because I think the thing about Facebook is interesting. Um, I got wiped off while I was doing comedy which was interesting. And yeah. I was talking about JFK Jr. I was kind yeah. of doing it with, com I was doing it with comedy because I kept saying, do you know who sang, I want to be loved by you? Yeah. That was me, Baba Bertha. That wasn't Marilyn Monroe because I had an affair with JFK and I need to tell you about JFK Jr. And suddenly I could see Facebook disconnecting. And I spoke to this Intel guy and he said, oh, it's because you were giving out the information. <laughs> they don't want psychics on there because you're giving out, like you said, Charlie, if I went out there and said what I feel all the time from the point of view of a psychic, uh, like Utsava does that, and she's been cut off everywhere. She's been saying exactly what, you know, what psychics are getting. And like you said, everything has got to progress beautifully yeah it's like a chess game he's a chess player isn't he he can play five games at the same time and win them all amazing amazing yeah oh it's so exciting charlie i mean okay i i presume you know you've got you're a busy man and you've got to get on with things but so this is so positive so we're looking forward to a really beautiful positive world i I felt, you know, that Nasara and Desara, will, we will see the big lights start to happen, I, I think, around March, March, April, where everything... We'll get, we'll get a lot of clarity time. in March. Pardon? We'll get a lot of clarity in March. Yes, yes. Can you say anything about JFK Jr.? Is he coming out? <laughs> that, that, I, I can't say anything at the moment, no. Okay. Okay, and, and because I predicted that a lot of people will try to hold it back. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the cabal. I'm talking about the young people that have been so conditioned on their phones and, t you know, they're conditioned to a certain kind of life. They've been brought up in a certain way and they are got, they're the ones that are going to hold back Jasara and Nasara, the people that don't want equality, the people that see everything here, physical. Yeah. They're not going to want a world where you have to love, where you know you have bartering, where you have where everything is from here and not from here, from the physical. And I think you know that's going to take time. It's a detox, and yeah, that's yeah. why it's taking time to bring in the light. The light is stronger. It's going to take time. Gonna it's going to take time, time isn't it? And even though I'm 60 years old, I've got plenty of it. Brilliant. Brilliant. But at, right. some point, at some point, I'm going to get you on that. I've got live. I'm going to bring yeah. you on to do a stream live because I'm yeah. doing it now. And it's been ex oh, so exciting to have you back on. Thank you so much, Charlie. You too. About all this beautiful stuff now to everybody. Have a wonderful day. Uh, again, is it warm in Spain? I, I can't remember. Lovely. Yeah, it's lovely at the moment. Oh, you're lucky. The weather's been a bit peculiar, I must admit. It's been quite warm in the UK on and off.
So we can't Wonderful. really complain. Lots of love, Charlie. Have you too. Carry on the good work. Take care. And Cheers. I look forward to seeing this on your channel. And I'll put it on Moving On TV as a, as a program as well. Perfect. Love. Take care. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Well, there you go. That was the meeting. That was the interview with Charlie Wood. Ah, it was worth getting up for 9 a.m. in the morning. I am so excited. Um, the questions I've asked on there, please watch it. Well, if you're watching this, you've obviously watched it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Moving on TV is the new mainstream media. The media is collapsing. We are the new mainstream media. Uh, we are here for you, every single one of you. As a celebrity, come on board. I've got a life. And do your singing, your acting, your dancing, um, comedy, uh, everything, everything that you want to do here on Moving On TV. I love you guys, and I'm so excited. Please subscribe, share, and like, and send this everywhere. And go on hopegloryproductions.com. That's our website. We'll have to start another one because then we can actually download. I might talk to Lee Hemmington because he does the work for Charlie. Let's see if he can sort it out for me too. But this is an incredible time to live in. All your dreams can come true. Just grab your dreams. Come to Moving On TV and let's do it together. Um, I'm here for all of you. I want you all to thrive together with me. That's it. Have a beautiful day. And enjoy the day because I know I'll be working today on editing this and getting it on straight away. I love you. Subscribe, share and like. And if you want to donate to my work, you can donate on my PayPal, lomedal at googlemail.com. It'll be down below. Love you. Bye. It's there for you from me.